Hey, Harold Hornets. How is everyone on this Friday afternoon as we get ready for our weekend? I know you're enjoying your summertime off. It's been a few days since I've been on here, but next week is my vacation. Whoop, whoop, so excited. So I wanted to be able to reach out. I'm gonna read a few books for the younger kids um, so that you have something that you can jump on and listen to during the week while I'm gone. And then I'm gonna do a separate video for my older kids to listen to and make it a little bit easier to find their stories. So um, for tonight, I've picked out two books, maybe three that I'm gonna read for you guys. And um, I hope you enjoy. Like I said in my first video, it's all about just finding time to read, find a place that you like to read, be silly when you read if you want to. So I'm upstairs in my house in a little nook that I have. Um, I've got my kids library one of them up here with me next to me so that I can pick out various books and um, next time I get on here I'll pick a different spot to read to you from so my first story is do kanga kangaroos wear seat belts do they do we think they wear seat belts let's find out Can we go fast, asked the boy. Can't we blast to the zoo? It won't take long, said his mom. Sit still, you bouncy kangaroo. So see mom putting him in the car? Mom, if we were kangaroos, would I have to wear a seat belt when you took me for a hopping, hopping ride? No, a mama kangaroo knows her joey won't go flopping. Her little one is tucked safely inside. I said it wrong. Her little one is safely tucked inside. So see, sometimes we all make mistakes with our reading or we read words too fast and it's okay to slow down and it's okay to reread. Mom, if we were penguins, would we have to use this stroller in the places penguins go? You mean as we zip zip on our slippery trips through Antarctic ice and snow? See him with the penguins? No, a penguin's body's nice for sporting and cavorting and for sliding on the ice. So they don't have to use strollers. Mom, if we were hippos, would you make me take your hand if I wanted to get cool and started running toward the pool? Do we have to do what the animals do? Hmm, what do hippos have to do? What's her answer? A mama, mama hippo has legs, not arms, but she can hiss when she's alarmed. When she wants to budge her calf, she will nudge his bottom half. If anything dangerous wanders his way, she carries and ferries him safely away. So you're going to see that when something dangerous happens, she puts him up on her back and gets him out of trouble. Okay, Bush Baby, this next place is dark. I don't want to lose you, so climb into this pack. Mom, do I have to? I'm big enough to walk. Do real Bush Babies need to ride piggyback? See what a bush baby looks like? A bush baby rides on mama's back at night, soaring, gliding, sliding, leaping, 
while the thorn tree world is sleeping, catching insects in mid-flight. His fingers cling tightly to his mother's hair because she bumps when she jumps and goes swooshing through the air. If I was that monkey clowning around, would you make me wear a helmet in case I tumbled down? Would you have to wear a helmet if you were a monkey, do you think? Don't they look silly in their helmets? A mama monkey isn't nervous that her young one will start slipping because she knows his hands and feet are made just right for gripping. She doesn't have to fret, and he's sailing down the trail. He can wrap and grab the branches with his prehensile tail. Sam? Have you been to the zoo and seen the monkeys at the zoo? They're pretty fun to watch. Mom, I wish I was a lion cub running wild and free. I would prowl and growl. My tail would bounce and then I'd pounce. Then I would be your lion, Mom. Let me remind you, I'd be behind you. Together we'd tumble and rumble in the grass. tumbling. Why would you have to come too? The boy asked. All kinds of parents everywhere, wet or dry, low or high, whether their bodies are large or thin, covered with scales or fur or skin, do their best to take good care of their little ones. See mom and him hugging? And then see all the mama animals with their little ones? And you, my son, as you climb and spin, as you wobble and balance and wiggle and swim, you'll know I'm there to hold and hug, to keep you warm and safe and snug. Isn't that sweet? Mamas take care of their young. Mom, the zoo was super fun with you. When I grow up, maybe I'll be a daddy kangaroo. Isn't that silly? I'm gonna grow up and be a daddy kangaroo? And what you boys and girls need to know that that's how us teachers are, and that's how we feel about you. We're gonna keep you warm and safe and snug in our school and each and every day, and we're gonna do our very best to protect you and to teach you and help you to grow to be the very best you that you can be. So we hope that we do that each and every day for you. So another book I picked out that's kind of fun is Fly High, Fly Guy. Maybe a little bit for third, fourth grade, maybe second, third, fourth. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. See Fly Guy? So what do we think his name is if he can say the boy's name? Hmm. Chapter one. One day Buzz said, it's time to take a road trip. Fly Guy wanted to go too. He's too little, said Mom. He might get lost. So they're packing for the road trip. Sorry, said Dad. Fly Guy stays home. He shut the trunk. Okay, let's hit the road.
The family drove and drove. They stopped for a picnic. Mom opened the trunk. Fly guy flew out. Dad said, how did he get in there? Just don't lose him, said mom and dad. Now let's eat. Chapter two, they drove to the beach. So there they're having their picnic. In chapter two, they're driving to the beach. I bet some of you have gone to the beach or are going to the beach. I'm not going to the beach. Then it was time to go. Mom and dad said, is fly guy lost? So there's their wave. Oof, what is he doing? He's reading even on the beach. And now they're looking for fly guy. No, said Buzz. Here he is. Buzz. See him in the shell? They drove to the art museum. Then it was time to go. Mom and Dad said, Is Fly Guy lost? No, said Buzz. Here he is. He was on a painting. They drove to the fun park. Then it was time to go. Mom and Dad said, Is Fly Guy lost? No, said Buzz. Here he is in the trash can. Chapter three. It's time to go home, said Mom. Let's hit the road, said Dad. They drove and 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 drove. And drove. But they did not get home. We're lost, said Mom and Dad. Buzz and Fly Guy had an idea. Buzz said, Fly high, Fly Guy. Fly Guy flew high into the sky. He used his super fly eyes to spy their house. Fly Guy led the way home. Thank you, Fly Guy, said Mom and Dad. You saved the day. Yay, Fly Guy. But they were glad he went on their trip with them after all. So maybe this was more for second grade-ish, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. All right, guys, that's going to be the books for this week. Um, like I said, I hope you have a great week next week. I'm going to miss you all, but I am ready for my vacation. Older kids, um, hang on a few minutes, and I'm going to upload your video so that you can watch and um, listen to a couple extra chapters of your book as well. So have a great one, everyone. I will see you. Hopefully, I'll jump on next week. Have a great one. Love you guys. Miss you bunches.